Hello, may God bless you in this prayer. Today we will say a prayer of victory. God in this prayer will be the strength you need. I want to pray for you today, I will be praying for you today with great faith. I have a word, I have a direction from God for your life in this prayer. But before delivering what God sent, I want to tell you something. Never forget that you are chosen by God. I didn't say you are perfect, I said you are a chosen one. You may have your faults and God knows all your mistakes. But beyond your flaws, God knows your heart because you are much more than your flaws. God knows your heart. God knows that your heart is good, God knows that you are a good person. God knows that you are a person who has a heart worked for God. God knows that you are a person who does not rejoice in the defeat of others. You are a person who rejoices in people's victories. I feel in my heart that I'm talking here now to a person who is good and God knows. Never forget that God is with you. If God were not with you, you would not be able to bear so much that you have already endured. If God were not with you, you would not endure so many fights and wars. There are people who criticize you, but if they only went through half of what you've already gone through, they wouldn't be standing. I will pray for a true one chosen by God. Does God know you and know what caught God's attention in you? Your heart, keep it up. God has a plan, God has a purpose in your life. Before I deliver the word that God sent, I want you to write here below in the comments. Write your first and the sentence below. I am God's chosen one. Please write in the comments. I am God's chosen one. While you are writing, I want to talk to you who are here for the first time. Welcome. I want to tell you that from now on I want to pray for you. I usually say that to envy a person, to try to hinder a person. There are a lot of people, but to pray for someone. There are few people to pray for us. And I want to say that from today I will be praying for you. I will be adopting you in my prayers. I will ask every day for God to protect you and for the Lord to illuminate your steps. I direct you to subscribe here to the Daily Prayer for You channel because this way my prayers will reach you. It's free, you don't pay anything. See here below the video the word subscribe. I want you to click this button. A bell symbol will appear next to it. You click 2 and finally you will see the all option, you must click 2. Click word subscribe, click on the bell and also click on the all option. It's just that. God bless you. I also want you to click the like button. Whenever you do this, you are communicating to YouTube that prayer is valuable to you and that this prayer can be recommended to other people. Therefore, it is important that you click the like button now. I have the Holy Bible open here, I want to read a verse that the Holy Spirit gave me before coming here. Book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse 30, says, But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and, beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. In verse 31 it says, Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? Here the Holy Bible is talking about the episode in which Peter walks on the water. Peter says, Lord, if you are the Lord, send me to meet you walking on the water. And the Lord Jesus said, Come. And Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water. But in verse 30 the Holy Bible says, but when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. This is what happens to a person who takes their eyes off our Lord Jesus and start looking at the problems. I come here in this prayer to say to you, do not take your eyes off our Lord Jesus. There are people who focus on problems, they focus more on the problems they are going through than on the Lord Jesus. And when you look more at problems than at God's promise in your life, you sink. 
This is what happens when a person, instead of focusing on Jesus Christ, stays focused on the problem, they sink. Because while Peter looked at Jesus, he was walking in the impossible, because humanly speaking it was impossible for him to walk on water. But he was looking at Christ. He started walking, but the moment he stopped to watch, noticing the strength of the wind, he was afraid. There are people who begin to observe the strength of the problem, begin to observe the size of the problem. They begin to observe what is in the exam, the results of the report. And then someone that even the enemy himself uses says, this is serious, this person died this way. Then the person starts to look more at the problem than at the promise. I remember a case I followed. A person who had a very serious illness. And I started to pray and I started to say, don't doubt, trust, don't look. Because from the moment medicine says there is no way around it, it is because they really can't do anything anymore. Then it has already left the reach of intelligence, of the wisdom of medicine. So at that moment, only God. I prayed, gave strength, prayed and said, believe, trust. I remember that this person was no longer able to get up, because he was very weak, he lost a lot of weight. But in the strength of faith, in the strength of prayer, this person began to gain weight again, God began to do the work and no one understood anything, not even the doctors understood, do you know why? Because that person in that situation was attached to God. She approached our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what you should do. You who are here now, you who are praying for the relationship, but the person you love has left and is no longer with you. If you keep looking at the time you've been apart, or what the person is doing now, you'll be looking more at the problem than the promise and then you sink. If you are looking more at debts than at faith in God, you will sink. Start focusing on our Lord Jesus Christ. It is at the time of problem that we have to focus even more on God, strengthen your spiritual routine. Pray continually. Come here on the Daily Prayer for You channel and pray daily. Listen to a prayer to start your day. Focus, pray, keep praying to Christ. Do not take your eyes off our Lord Jesus Christ. Regardless of if someone says your problem is big, this problem will be eliminated. Let me read it just one more time so you understand. When he saw the wind, he was afraid. That's why Peter sank. If there is a feeling that brings a person down, that makes a person lose, that makes a person sink, it is called the feeling of fear. That's why I've already explained here on the Daily Prayer for You channel, I've already taught that in the Holy Bible, the Word of God between Genesis and Revelation, it is written 366 times, do not be afraid. One for each day of the year, the Lord tells you, do not be afraid. I am with you, I will give you victory. You believe? Do you receive this? So I want you to believe what I'm saying. Take your eyes off the problem. Take your eyes off the scenery. And begin to focus on our Lord Jesus. Because he will give you victory. He will bless you. Your life will not sink because God is with you. Raise your hands, say I believe, say I receive. Glory to God. I want to pray and I want to ask our Lord Jesus to strengthen you, to bless you, to keep you standing, to not allow you to sink. Because that is what the enemy wants, that is the will of the enemy, that is the will of those who want to see your evil, but it will not happen, because God is with you and he will give you victory. I pray for you now. Lord our God, our beloved and dear Father, at this moment I want to ask the Lord for each daughter, for each son of the Lord. They are with me here now and everyone who will come here at some point. God, I know this person has promise. Therefore I ask you, strengthen your daughter, strengthen your son. So they stop looking at the problem. To strengthen the enemy's attack and that every day, they keep looking at our Lord Jesus. Because as long as we are looking at the Lord, we won't sink. 
We will continue walking, persevering. We will continue walking in miracles, walking in the impossible. Hallelujah! God, I want to declare that many good things will happen. In the lives of all the people who follow the prayers here on the Daily Prayer for You channel, in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, bless everyone who is here with me now. Bless everyone who came here for the first time at some point. May these people feel the presence of God in their lives through this prayer. And may these people live in a new time, full of blessings. So say Amen. And say Glory to God. Trust what I'm telling you. You won't sink. May your faith always continue in our Lord Jesus. If you keep looking at Him always, you will win, you are chosen by God. Before you leave, I want you to share with 23 people. Click the share here button below this video. Who follows the prayers here on the Daily Prayer for You channel? Won't stop doing this. Share it with 23 people and put the link to this prayer in your status too. I also have a very special invitation for you. I want to invite you to pray the Psalm 23 and the Psalm 91 here on the Daily Prayer for You channel for 7 consecutive days. This will do you a lot of good and you will soon have a beautiful testimony. God bless you and until our next prayer.